Hey guys, it's Bob from Fast and Nature. It's that time of year. It is August 1st. I get the itch to start training. I've run a few marathons in the past. Um, so I'm now going to start mixing up my herping with running. So it's about, it's 8.04 right now. I have till about 1.30 today. Uh, in those five and a half hours, I have to run seven miles. So I'm going to start off with that and be looking along the way. And then after that, you know, be a hot, sweaty mess and see what else I can find. Today I'm returning to an area that I checked out probably a good two, two and a half months ago. Had a lot of potential, found a lot of snakes really quick, but then I jumped up on a boulder that gave way. I fell, broke my finger. Uh, long story short, I had to cut it uh, short that day. But hopefully I'm going to return to that spot and then check out more areas in the the general general vicinity so let's see how we do Hey girl, you okay? This type of stuff looks great. check that out nobody was home at the hole it's another hole it's pretty early in the morning so I'll probably check this out on my way back I'm only about three quarters of a mile in check over there man there is so much good habitat here all this this all looks great one of the things I have to give up though running because I don't want to stay here too long. So I'm gonna get back to it. It's a spotted lantern fly nymph right here. It's not a good sign. They're everywhere and I feel like I saw an adult down here somewhere. There he is. Terribly invasive. Doing a lot of destruction. It's a shame because they're gorgeous insects. Let's see if I can make this work. Oh, they hop, damn it. This is bad news. I have an idea. Use a bigger web, son of a bitch. This spot looks so good. Look at all this in the sun. Just gotta be careful because sometimes I can definitely miss copperheads in these leaves. I'm going on record right now. If I do not find a snake here, I'm handing in my Herper card. Look at how perfect this is. I just lost a snake in here. Son of a bee. I'm gonna have to look again later. These walls are always worth checking. They're like an old lock system here up in the mountains. Okay, I see a timber rattlesnake. It's actually in that shade. This is gonna be tough. Let's see what I can do. I don't know if there's one or two there. I'm not sure. 
because I hear some stuff moving like leaves, but that one's not moving. I didn't even move from this spot and that thing took off like a bat out of hell. You can probably hear it in there. That sucks, I wanted a better look. Well, this wasn't here before, so maybe snakes are out now. It's always so much easier to go up than down. But I wanna check this out. I really think I'm gonna regret this though. This is the spot where that snake snuck in on me earlier, so here's to hoping I can see it before it ditches again. I'm not seeing anything. For all I know, it could have been a skink, you know, who knows. Rocks aren't hot yet and starting to warm up. Shit, looks like there's a wasp nest under there. Met up with formerly homeless photographer. We got a ring neck here. He just flipped. And then, unfortunately, I didn't have the camera going, but there was literally a copperhead and a rattlesnake right here together. You can hear the rattlesnake still. And while we were looking for the rattlesnake, a copperhead was like one foot in front of us and we didn't even notice it. So check this out. Matt just spotted this timber in situ. I don't know if it's just resting or if it's an ambush, but it's a cool position regardless. Then there's another up there. We're gonna try and get pictures of this one first before we spook it, before we keep looking, because this is a third one right in this area. A gravid. Nice gravid female. And then check this out. Black one's still here. I forgot about that one. That's got to be gravid too. I mean, why would they be hanging out together? Yeah, there's a face. So I guess this flies where we're bugging his buddy. Hey, put some on it? Yeah, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. I would put it, yeah, I should put it on the let's strip down. Snake doesn't know what to do. That one's thick too, man. It's weird because it should be chasing us, but I think it's scared of us. <laughs> Good, I'm falling right here, boulders. And this is the fourth timber we've seen in like five minutes, so. This is a really neat size. For timbers, I never see them this size. I'd say stretched out, it's probably about a foot and a half, maybe like 20 inches. I usually see them smaller or three, three and a half up to four when I'm lucky. So this is a really good opportunity to show that timbers are not aggressive. Matt's taking pictures and the timber is right there. Sorry, I'm doing this on like, I can't see if you can see it. 
All right, so there's that. So the timber wants nothing to do with us. It's rattling, hoping we go away. That's my hook, but I only use it if absolutely necessary. And I do have a timber permit, so we are out of season, I believe. I don't, I don't know if we're in season or not, because I don't collect them anyway. But I take it just, just in case, just in case I can need to move something off the road. But as you can see, this guy is just rattling. Matt is right there. Could not care to strike or chase or any other of the myths that are associated with these misunderstood creatures. I love these rocks on drainage ditches. Keeping in mind that it is August. Well, I missed the flip clip, but we have a ready to shed Eastern milk snake here. He's not happy. But I'll show you, he was actually in this crack right there. He wasn't under the big rocks. So he's probably using the moisture. He can thermoregulate here nice and easy. By a rifle range, so that's what you're hearing. He's your milk snake. So that about wraps up the day. Uh, it actually ended up being better than I expected. I got my seven and a half mile run in. Um, only saw one snake during the run, the timber, but then my buddy Matt was uh, about 15-ish minutes away, hooked up with him for a little bit, and we knocked out another six timbers, a copperhead, a ring neck, and then I got a milk snake after Matt had left. Um, so this begins my running slash herping season. Uh, if you want to follow along, you know, feel free to, to subscribe. And tell me, what was the last snake you saw? Leave it in the comments. I'm Bob from Fascinature, reminding you, step into the outdoors. Talk to you later, guys.